Listen, I'm just a broke uni student trying my best. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in my car. I'm in my car. And um, yeah, so class just finished. It went bueno as per usual. Um, coming back from my peace studies class talking about research on global peace and social justice. Um, today we were kind of continuing um, similar to last week, which is kind of like positionality statements and the significance of your positionality and where you receive your information from and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we were going over today very similar to knowledge production, but taking like knowledge production and then incorporating it into how that affects you and then how that in turn affects your opinions, your outputs, your values, all that kind of stuff. And then how, when you take that information and you spread it out to the world based off of your perspective, that can influence other people and how they absorb the information because like, everybody takes in information differently so regardless of your intentions like take take this for example my vlog i have like a certain intention that i'm putting it out with but the way that you guys view it um and the way that you interpret certain things are going to be different from what i intend you to hopefully absorb if that makes sense it doesn't mean it's like negative it doesn't mean it's positive it just means that the way we are informed about certain things varies based on our personal experiences and our personal knowledge. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's what we went over today. Positionality. 
I have a paper coming up for that class due on February 9th and it's a positionality statement. I'm not super worried because I had a positionality statement due for my special topics class in peace and conflict studies and I just got the mark from that back. Did I say that properly? I just got the mark for that back and it wasn't as awful as I assumed. So I'm not super worried. I'll take you along with me when we're doing the positionality statement. But yeah, that's it for today. I have to work this afternoon, unfortunately, which is why I'm skedaddling out here as per usual. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm done picking up shifts um, for like these past two weeks. So like I picked up a bunch of shifts at work because honey, I'm broke. I need some money. Um, which is why I haven't like been vlogging as persistently as I usually do. So apologies, but nonetheless, I will be back on it next week. Promise it's promises. So I'll see you soon.